the parallelogram of vectors and as well as the triangle of vectors. So, and now we are going to discuss about uh, the important topic that is a uh, relative velocity. Relative velocity. Relative velocity means is nothing but when two bodies are is in motion, when the two bodies are in motion either it is in the same direction or it is the opposite direction or mutually inclined means so whenever they are making an angle in the direction of its motion. Then to know the velocity of one body with respect to the another body. So, that motion is called as a relative motion in that case of to find out the velocity of that particle the, the bodies is known as a relative velocity. Once again when the two bodies are is in motion either in the same direction or is in opposite direction or a mutually inclined means uh, they are making an angle with uh, its initial positions uh, in the direction with the direction of uh, motion. Then to know the velocity of one body with respect to the another body is called a relative velocity. The velocity of one body with respect to the another body when there is in motion then the velocity is called as a relative velocity. That means whenever we are uh, traveling in a bus if either another bus is uh, moving parallelly to us then if that bus is having more velocity than this body wherever we sat in the, we sat in the bus if the another bus is having more velocity than our bus then to we can observe that the bus is moving crossing us slowly but that bus is not actually slow because of we are also is in motion the another body is also in motion but in case of whenever we are rest if that same bus is moving with the same speed we can see more speed than the bus because of the relative means the difference between the velocities the difference between the two bodies so wherever there is in motion the difference between the velocities of that bodies can be determined by this relative velocity. So, that is why the important concept of relative velocity is a uh, it can be obtained by the vector subtraction method vector subtraction method. In this case of subtraction method we can find out that the values uh, of the velocities whenever the bodies are is in motion. If two bodies are moving along the same direction means either the bodies are moving along the same direction consider it say a body a and uh, it is a body b because of there is no angle between them t vehicle 0 t is equal to 0 there is no any angle between them then we can say that the bodies are is moving along a straight line either in along the x axis means then we can find out that their positions can be said as a x a and x b means x a is the displacement of the a body along the x axis and x b with the displacement of the body with a x b means uh, here it is having the position of which is moving from certain distance that is with the dis dis displacement will be x a and its displacement x b and its displacement will be x a. Then if we want to find out that then it is having that body having the velocity v b and this body is having the velocity v a. v a and v b be the velocity of velocities of two bodies where they are is moving in the same direction there is in motion in the same direction then we can say that the positions we know that the displacement is equal to velocity into time velocity of means the displacement of a body a then velocity of a into t and uh, same as a uh, x b is equal to b b t is also another displacement of the body b so that case here the x a is equal to v a t and x b is equal to v b t means whenever the displacement is occurs whenever the bodies are is in motion whenever is it, their bodies are having some velocity some displacement will be happens. So, that is why here the body a is moving from certain distance that is displacement will be x a and also the body b occurs this one is the a this one is the b with velocities v a and uh, v b these are the velocities of this bodies then the displacement will be we can write that x b a means uh, if we compare with the if we want to know the displacement of b with respect to a then the displacement of uh, b with respect to a means uh, how much the change difference between the displacements of the bodies how much the difference between the two bodies means uh, from how much the displacement by the b body more than the a body that means the uh, displacement of the body b the position of the body b with respect to a then we can write that x b a 
x b a means uh, x b minus x a means how much the difference between the displacements then uh, we know that x b is equal to v b t and x a is equal to v a t so that's why we are substituting the values then we can get v b minus v a means uh, the difference in velocities of the body we can say that that is v b a into t v b a into t v b minus v a means the difference in velocities like this See, here we wrote that that x b a is equal to x b minus x a like that here the v b minus v a means uh, the difference between the velocities of body e v body a so that wherever the body velocity is more then displacement will be more the here also we can say that here the velocity of the object a or object b means the velocity of object a or object b which nothing will different object b with respect to the if we compare with the a means the with respect to the b the relative velocity the velocity of object b with a respect to the another body because of two bodies are is in motion so that's why here v a is the velocity of body a and v b be the velocity of the body b so the difference between both will be the velocity of b with respect to a whatever the body we want to find out the velocity we should write first one after that we should write second velocity of b with respect to a so here it is that easily we can understand the first one we should write that velocity of b whatever the body just carefully listen carefully whatever the body is there whatever the body we want to find out the velocity that will to write for the easily understanding i am telling you so whatever the body's velocity is to find then we should write first one after that we should write second one either if in case of uh, if we get the negative value that means to say that less value means uh, we should find out that if we compare with the another body this body is having the less value that much of amount if we get the positive value that much more amount of value is there so that's why here we can say that whatever the value we want to find out that, that if in case of value of b velocity if you want to find out the velocity of b then uh, we should be b minus v a if you want to this here the relative object the velocity of the object b relative to the object a means if we compare with the object a then what we, we are for going to find out the velocity of b so that's why here v b a is equal to v b minus v a whenever the two bodies are moving in the same direction then similarly we can write that the velocity of object a with respect to the object b with respect to the object b is a v a b is equal to v a minus v b this is the equation for the relative velocity relative velocity when the bodies are moving in the same direction if two bodies are moving in the same direction then it must be either the positions according to their positions we can write that the relative velocity for easily understanding i am telling you if we want to find any velocity of the particle we should write that first one in case of here like this if we want to find out first one after that with whom we are measuring with whom we are comparing whatever the body is there another body which which is the body we are comparing that has to write uh, after that one minus we should subtract this one then uh, we can find out the relative velocity by using the vector subtraction method so that's why we this one is a uh, vb minus va into t the next one if in case of similarly we can write that vba b is equal to va minus v. here is that we are going to know the value of a velocity of a with respect to the b the relative velocity in this case the velocity of a with respect to the b then that is equal to v a minus v b the result of v a b or v b a it depends on the angle between the direction of motion from the origin means uh, whenever the two bodies are in motion then uh, it depends on the angle between them if in case of uh, theta is equal to 0 or theta is equal to 90 theta is equal to 180 if in case of they are making an angle between them means now consider two bodies are a and b consider two a and b making an angle with theta with the one another with the one another this is the body a b and this one is the a and this one is a b if we are comparing then here it is that the a body the b body is making an angle theta with the a velocity of a is this one and velocity of b b b the velocity of the object b then they are uh, mutually inclined 
this means to say inclined means they are making an angle with uh, each other that is theta if we want to find out that to find the relative velocity then resultant we should take because of it this, this one is in this direction this one is in this direction according to the triangle of vectors we are going to know this here that is a uh, here va is the same direction we are taking but the vb we should take in a reverse direction this is a uh, clockwise and their resultant must be in opposite direction so that's why that va is in this direction moving and vb be this one this is the theta then whenever vb is moving in this direction va is in this direction whenever they are opposite that will be taken as a 180 minus theta be the angle between them so according to this the relative velocity of object a the relative velocity of object a with respect to the object b that means the angle will be 180 minus theta 180 minus theta if you write that that is vab is equal to we already told you that whatever the value we are going to find out for the body then we should write first one that is the we are find, going to find out that that is the va va means velocity of a with respect to we are comparing with the object b so here it is that va into b that is equal to vab sorry vab means uh, velocity of a with respect to the b then we should write that va minus vb in case of we want to find it the magnitude of this uh, velocity relative velocity of vab then we should find out that we know that according to the parallelogram law of vectors according to the parallelogram law of vectors this will be the that is the magnitudes of the vectors that is one va square plus vb square plus two va vb the two vectors means the two vectors va and vb with the vectors here we can take that the two vectors are making an angle uh, here 180 minus theta 180 minus theta so that's why we are writing that 180 minus theta but we know that 180 minus theta means that will be the 180 minus theta will be the second quadrant so in the second quadrant uh, the only sine and cosec will be the positive remaining all the terms will be negative so that's why we can say that cos of a 180 minus theta will be taken as a minus cos theta minus cos here is the cos so that's why this called this will be not changed due to the 180 so minus cos theta we are mentioning then we can get that vab velocity of a with respect to b the magnitude of vab that is equal to root of va square plus vb square minus 2 va vb cos theta due to that minus cos theta we are multi substituting so, so that's why we can get this equation so in this case of we have the some of the examples also there once again if we case of the angle if the both are in the same direction then we can get that same some of the values by if we clarify if we want to clarify this then if in case of theta is equal to 0 degrees then we can find out how do we get it let us see some special cases means whenever they are moving in the same direction like this same direction in the same direction the two objects are moving in the same direction a and uh, b are uh, in the same direction same direction means either this is a with velocity v a and this one is b with velocity v b moving in the same direction that means to say theta is equal to 0 degrees we know that theta is equal to 0 degrees means already earlier we discussed about that that is whenever the two bodies are is in motion same direction moving in the same direction we can get that v a v a b is equal to v a minus v b we got already we know that if in case of just let us see we can get that same equation or not so we have the equation v a b is equal to root of v a square plus v b square minus 2 v a v b cos theta theta is equal to 0 degrees is there cos 0 we know that cos 0 is equal to 1 so v a b is equal to root of v a square plus v b square minus 2 v a v b cos 0 is equal to 1 since uh, cos 0 degrees is equal to 1 so from that equation if this is a, in case of this is the same as if we compare with the a minus b whole square expansion that is a square plus b square minus 2 a b so, so like that we are writing that root of v a minus v b whole square that is a a square plus b square minus 2 a b like that a minus b whole square square root get cancelled v a b v a b is equal to 
VA minus VB. So, we got the same equation earlier we got. Means whenever the theta is equal to 0 degrees, then we can get the same equation. If in case of opposite direction, in case of opposite direction, when they are moving in the opposite direction, like a V A is in this direction and V B is in a in this direction. V B will be minus. So that's why it is they are having the theta is equal to 180 degrees. Theta will be the 180 degrees. From that equation, V A B is equal to root of V A square plus V B square minus 2 V A V B cos 180 degrees. We know that cos 180 is equal to minus cos theta. So here that. 180 minus theta is equal to half we know that cos 180 is equal to we know that the value will be cos 180 is equal to the value will be same here we can get the cos 0 is equal to 1 same as uh, we have the cos 180 value will be then we can get that sin 90 sin 90 is equal to also we can get the equation number 1. So, from that also here we can write that. So, minus 1 we are writing that is V A B is equal to root of V A square plus V B square plus because of cos 180 is equal to cos 180 is equal to minus 1 we know that. So, that is why here we are measuring that the 2 V A V B. From that equation whenever the two bodies are is in motion means uh, we can write that here we have that V A B is equal to V A minus V B. If in case of this one is opposite direction means minus V B considered as negative. So, that is why minus of V A minus of minus V B then we can get V A plus V B. Same as if we want to clarify this one then we can get the same value V A square plus V A plus a V B whole square under root of root square get cancelled V A B is equal to that will be V A plus V B. Means if the both R is in opposite direction also we can get the same thing. So, that is why it is clarified that that is a it depends on that means the values it will depends on the angle between the objects angle between the objects in the direction of a motion. This is about a relative velocity. Let us see the applications on a relative velocity. Two examples of a relative velocity we are going to know for the better understanding the concept of relative velocity here. This is the ground and uh, this is air. The aircraft is, uh, is uh, on the moving in the air. So, here it is. Here aircraft is in the air. It is having the velocity of p means p means plane considered as a plane the velocity of p with respect to air a, a, a means the air itself is having the velocity of va with respect to the ground g so that's why we can say that that is a v a g be the velocity of air with respect to ground and as well as here the velocity of plane with respect to air because of it is moving in the air so, it is in the air. So, that is why we are measuring that the velocity of the plane with respect to the air will be VPA. Velocity of the plane with respect to air, we are comparing with air, air velocity. Then, if the air itself having the sum of the velocity, so that is why with the comparing the ground, ground is at rest, always we know that. So, here the velocity of air with respect to ground, but air itself has having the sum of the velocity. So, finally, means the velocity of the aircraft or plane velocity of the plane with respect to the air is a VPA and as well as here the velocity of the air with respect to the ground that will be VAG velocity of the air with respect to ground how to write the whenever we get the problems in the concept of relative velocity then we should know this is the values to how to multiply how to take the values. So, there is velocity of a craft or plane with respect to the ground means uh, this is the relation between them this will be the V A G means uh, the velocity relation, relation between the air and the ground velocities we can we consider velocity of air with respect to ground and uh, from the air to the plane that is a uh, V P A means velocity of the plane with respect to the air we are comparing with the air. So, that is why V P A and uh, V P finally we want to know this velocity of the 
plane with respect to the ground velocity of the plane with respect to the ground so these two can be add up so that's why here vpg is equal to vpa plus vag again if we want to find out the values of uh, this vpa and vag we can mention 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 that that is vpa is equal to we know that vpa minus vea vp minus va so if in case of the directions you can be taken along the directions can be taken the values can be changed say either if in case of the plane is moving uh, in opposite direction to the air or uh, we can take that plane is positive and air is in opposite direction so that's why he, he, he here the air can be taken as a positive way means either va plus va or minus va it depends on the directions of motion it depends on the directions of motion the values but whenever we get the three steps means like ground air and other thing or uh, again we have the concepts of uh, boat river and as well as a uh, rain umbrella like that here in this case also we can write that in the boat river also whenever the water is flowing on the ground and boat is on the water so that's why here we can consider that the velocity of the boat with respect to the air uh, water and uh, again velocity of the water with respect to the ground we can take like this also here velocity of the plane with respect to the air and uh, velocity of the air with respect to the ground so that's why we should write uh, like this again we can expand like this because of vpa is equal to we know that vp minus va and uh, plus va means whenever the air and uh, at the same time plane is in the same direction then uh, here VA and VPA then we can get the, the values so that's why here another problem this is the one of the example for the relative velocity and another one is if in case of two cars A and B are uh, in with velocities of VA and VB moving in the same direction means VA is also moving this direction same direction and uh, VB is also moving in the same direction then velocity of car A with respect to the ground and velocity of the b with respect to the ground velocity of car a with respect to the ground will be v a g and velocity of the car b with respect to the ground will be v b g so that's why v b a and v b g we know that the velocities can be taken v b a is equal to v b g means we are taking the we are not considering the here down we are considering that there is a velocities of the two vehicles only so that's why v b a is equal to velocity of the B body B with respect to ground minus V A G and uh, V A B is equal to V A G minus V B G. Directly we are taking the two values. There is no any medium between them. Here the air is a medium between the plane and the ground. So that's why we are taking like this. Here we are taking there is no any medium between them. There is car and ground like this. Two bodies is there. Two car two we can consider two values. There is no any medium between them. So that's why we are taking that the V B A is equal to V B G minus V A G and VAB is equal to VAG minus VBG. There is no any medium. We are directly finding the values of the two cars. We are comparing the two cars only. We are not comparing with the ground. We are measuring directly two cars. We are measuring that is VBA and VAB. So here it is that if in case of two cars are is in opposite direction, both two are is in opposite direction, then becomes a, if you want to find out the value of A, then we can take that VBG will be, means velocity of uh, car B, with respect to ground will be negative because of that will be in opposite direction to the A body. So that's why VAB is equal to VAG minus of a V velocity of car B with respect to the ground. Then we can take that VAG plus VBG. If in case of we want to find out the velocity of the car B, then the V velocity of car A will be opposite to the velocity of B. So that's why here VBA is equal to VBG minus of minus of V minus VAG. Then we can get the same values. Means uh, here when they are moving in opposite direction, VAB is equal to VBA. Two values will be the same values uh, we can get in this case of uh, these are the two examples of uh, relative velocity.